Hey, what is up everybody? It's Dima here. Recently, I made a rogue video. Most broken rogue rupture built, something like this along those lines. And pretty much in that video, a lot of people said that the reason why I do well as a rogue is mainly because of the gear that I'm using. But the thing is, acquiring gear is a very big aspect of this game. But before we get to the video, I want to remind you, only 30.1% of people who are watching my channel has subscribed, the rest didn't. Consider the press subscribe button if you're interested in a variety of dark and darker content. But anyway, we're gonna be starting out with literally nothing. That's basically for people who literally have nothing and they're trying to, you know, get somewhere. So our goal would be actually quite simple, and I'm gonna show you later down the line. The moment you reach the certain amount of golds, there is two ways you can do um, to acquire the gear sets. The way number one, this is the way that will work if you don't have much gold. Basically, just go to the marketplace and buy it. And the way number two, if you already acquired like three to five thousand gold, and if you want to make a good kit, basically, you got to hop in our Discord chat that we have recently created. Um, you got to let Hannah know that you want a kit. You gotta make a ticket and basically just um, give a suggestion what stats you would like to see in your kit and Hannah will make a kit for you. That's basically the trading Discord server that we recently have made and I really hope that server is going to be very useful to you. As for now, as for now, the aim and the goal of today's video is to make gold and pretty much in today's video I'm going to show you um, a possible ways of how you can acquire gold. Realistically, there's really not that many options. The most effective builds, I mean, the most effective ways of farming gold is going to be by pathing, going through the map, looting chests, and um, that's that's a, that's in case if you want to do that. If you don't want to do that, well, there is another way. You can go and mine ore. Yep, that's also. And there is a third way. The third way is require a little bit of time, practice, and effort, and I'm going to show you in exactly... Um, how you can get it done as a rogue, even if you legitimately have nothing, you barely hit level 20, you can't afford nothing, you don't have any gold, and you're just starting out, but you somehow was still able to get all the perks. Thing is, you don't even really need all the perks, you don't even really need all the skills, but listen, we're gonna try to make it very hard for us, so that, you know, we get to have an extra chunk of challenge. But realistically, I have infinite amount of resources, so I don't really need to do this, but I want to do it for you, my friend. So anyway, we're going to wait for the Goblin Caves um, to come out, and we're going to hop in the game directly, and we're going to go and try make some gold. Anyway, stay tuned. We're going to wait it out a little bit. All right. By the way, the graphics are slightly off too much. We gotta change this up low, 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 low. And DLC quality. Yeah, here we go. We're good. We're good to go. Nice, we got a crease in the first chest. I'm gonna be honest, that's actually so fucking rigged. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to remind you. Only 29.9% of people who are watching my channel has subscribed. The rest didn't. Consider press subscribe button if you're interested in a variety of dark and darker content. But anyway, let's go back into today's video. So pretty much when you start out, well, first thing first, you gotta get some gold and pretty much you're gonna try and get as much cheese as we can by opening chests, looting everything we can come across. So right now we have a couple of pieces. We are already getting somewhere. Unfortunately, we can't use the army sword and that's all well, that fucking suck. Realistically, you don't need to break wazes. Well, here we go, we have ceremonial dagger. That will be useful for a task, especially if you're trying to do the task. But since I don't care about tasking, I wouldn't really need it. But what I do need is I need to kill mobs because I need to find cheese. And I actually need to just simply bypass this area. Not necessarily that I care about the loot that these mobs will drop us. Nope, oh, we got nothing here. But I do absolutely care about getting through. I kind of want to break away this, but it feels like such a complete fucking waste of time. Let's be real here. So, yeah, we're gonna get this bad boy down. Okay, let's see if there is potential bandage. Nope, we ain't got shit. Oh, well. Another chest down. So, for this method in particular, basically the goal is to get bandages, get meds, get a weapon, and then wait around eight minutes so that we will go and do something special i'm gonna 
try and showcase you in a moment but first thing first we gotta focus to make sure that we get all the right cheese nice we got throwing knives in case if we come across some pvp that be very convenient because throwing knives is going to be definitely something that will technically protect us okay okay mm, so far we already have kind of two pieces we have uh will on pants and we have strength and will on boots I'm not gonna lie, I would never really use um, those boots <laughs> or pants on the road, but listen, we gotta use what the game has to offer. By the way, we have bandage here, and also we got bandage on that other side, in the exact same location. Um, we got more greens, more greens. I'm gonna try to make as much gold as physically possible, because we gotta acquire every single, like literally, oh shit, hell yeah, brother. Ale will need for a task, but um, <laughs> not doing any task. But I probably should, I probably should. There is really not that much time left in this wipe. So yeah, no, I definitely probably should actually start trying to get some tasks done. You don't really need tasks, but you do need them, especially if you're trying to unlock um, rewards, you know. And there is some that definitely everyone should go for. Emote, campfire, and mommy skin. Basically, if you are very invested in Dark and Darker, you it's a must, just a must. You would have to commit, you know, put some effort, even though you might hate your life for those couple of days when you do this task. It just, you know, you just must do. If you're true fun, you have to acquire those skins, you know? <laughs> because pretty much those skins will transfer from a wipe into the next wipe. Right, like usual, we didn't get anything special here. We're gonna have a mummy here, and um, another one is gonna be spawned by the next chest. Let's kill it real quick. We don't wanna lose any HP, we gotta be careful. We don't have any ma- Oh, nice, we have a necklace. Doesn't do shit. It's okay, now we gonna open up the chest. Luckily, it's free. Oh shit, we got physical damage. This actually could be quite decent. But I'm not sure if they are better. <laughs> you know what I mean. I might as well throw just whatever because if you're set doing a little zero to hero, your goal is to acquire as much gold as physically possible. By the way, that old clothes right here, you would need it for a task. But um, once again, I'm not doing any task. I just I'm not gonna bother with it too much. Gloves, two strands is beautiful. Since we already have a plenty of green items, we can't really fit that in. And if you get sellables, like, or gold, 10 gold per slot, basically, that's already gonna cost more um, than majority of um, normal or gray items, like uh, sellables or bigger green items, you know what I mean. Okay, dokem, so right now we have, oh, fuck yeah, that's a pretty good throwable, unfortunately we can't use it as rope. Please, armies, let rogues use survival bow. <laughs> Bart could. Like, Bart could use a survival uh, bow. Like, everybody could use survival bow. Ranger could. Fighter could. I don't think it's gonna be that much of an issue if rogues will be able to use survival bow. You can, in fact, nerf some other rogue skill, but just give us a better range, for God's sake. Nice. We have a better riveted gloves. Like, realistically, what is it gonna be much of an issue if a rogue... Oh, shit. Actually, those close bands are gonna be useful. Like... Is it really going to be that much of an issue if Rogue could be a uh, use uh, could be able to use a survival bow? I don't think it's going to be that much of an issue at all, and I think it's going to be beautiful. Oh shit, we have someone here, by the way. Got to be kind of careful. So we already got decent amount of cheese. I'm not necessarily looking to fight any player, but I'm going to kill Troll, and I'm going to explain why. Troll, even normals, have a very high chance of dropping the troll pelt. And the troll pelt, right now, on the market, is almost 4,000 gold. And it's amazing. Like, it just, basically, you will be able to sell that one troll pelt. And you will end up getting lots of cheese. Pretty much, that's just um, the best, the easiest, and the fastest way to acquire your first kit. Just go in completely naked. With the crease dagger, with stiletto, rapier, does not matter. And just do it all over again until you get that troll pelt. Get the troll pelt, extract, and um, yeah, that's just gonna be enough to make your first kid. Someone was here, by the way, but um, I have no fucking idea where the person went. And since we have only 8 minutes, well, we might as well just go do the boss real quick. 
Also, by the way, we have um, a rapier, which is um, going to make our life a little easier when it comes to killing the boss. It's been a minute since the last time I went into the troll's room to kill the boss. Like, legit, it's been <laughs> a while. Like, I stopped farming bosses. I just go and fight other players, and that's what I've been doing for the past months. Looks like someone died. Mm, okay. I'm not sure if the homie had anything. So, I think, yeah, we're kind of ready to go. So, let's just go and do it. We start with the roller. We're gonna do a couple of hits. We're gonna go to the side. We go back. Don't go too far. We don't get too close. A couple of headshots right here. Move to the side. One, two, to this side. One, two, to this side. It's gonna do slam. Basically, on the third attack, you will be able to do an extra hit, but you will have to count the hits. I'm not the person who likes to count, so that's why we're just gonna do just a couple of hits per time. <laughs> but yeah, no, you can do extra hit on the force attack. But you know what? We're not a professional player, we're just a casual here. That's why we're doing a very simple strategy that every single person could follow. All I do is I hit twice, I won't do a lot. All the way. Hit. Well, I hit once, but I uh, got a little scared. Gonna go back, hit him one, and one more. Oh, fucking hell. Almost died. <laughs> no, I didn't. But um, basically, you just gotta throw a jump and you should find it. A little to the side, we go back. I missed that hit, I thought I didn't. I think the problem here that I have is the lack of attributes, and that's why it's actually getting pretty hard. But you don't really need attributes to serve so... Okay. I honestly feel like I might as well replace my pants, because uh, I feel slow, holy fuck. Even three dexterity would be so convenient when it comes to killing the boss. Mm, okay, let's move him slightly to the side, and we're gonna go in. He's more closer to the room, we have more space. We just simply walk to the left. Fuck, we missed the headshot. Mm, okay, yeah, now nah, fuck it, I'm gonna change my pants. Okay. One, two, three. Let him jump the jump. Couple hits here. I do crouch, uh, jump. Well, it's not necessarily to jump, but I do it because I was doing an apart. And uh, basically, if you try to do. I mean, if you try to go for a second hit, it's legit a must. Or else you die. <laughs> Simple as that. Oh shit. But oh, we're getting in a dangerous zone because. If we make one step further toward the doorway, um, the game could reset the bus, so we have to be careful. Ideally, I drag them up a little further down here. Ideally, you gotta have the bus center, and that's basically when the life gonna be easier. And yeah, stay away from this door, because if the game could reset it. I'll try to show example um, some other time. <laughs> Not this one. We almost got the bus done. And you know, there is a chance to get the troll belt. If we get it, oh boy, it's gonna be fucking sick. If we don't get it, it's fine. Listen, it's okay. It's not gonna be that bad. Because at the end of the day, I'm just showing you the way and... Oh, baby. A fucking pelt. Holy cow. That's so fucking sick. We gotta be careful to not get ambushed. Because that thing right there is legit a full kit to fucking brave hunters. Lightfoot Boots with move speed and um, Green Smile is purple stiletto. You know, all that kind of fucking cheese. And at the end of the day, we will have enough resources to even buy some throwing knives. You know what I mean? Oh, god damn, brother. Hell yeah. This game alone is already 300 just from sellables, I feel like. And from the items. And um, 3 plus thousand from the pelt. Looks like the Cyclops killed two people. I don't know. I was hoping actually I would be able to squeeze in and maybe see that one good beautiful purple item in the middle room. If you go and kill both bosses, I mean, it's actually very easy in normals. You will be able to simply go get the pickaxe and gold um, and um, mine some gold. Okay. Okay, dokie. We got throw knife there, but it's fine. Don't care too much. We're just simply gonna go directly toward extract, the way you can get to extract, go up the stairs, go left, use the elevator. Um, it depends where you want to take extract, here we have one extract to our right, one extract that's gonna be all the way north, 
There's also going to be extract to the left, which is going to be in the middle. Um, elevator will spawn at the end, very last minute. Um, so pretty much no matter which direction you're going to go, you're going to come across um, extract. We didn't get nothing, but we still have a couple of minutes. And I do want to kind of cheese every single minute that we have at our hand. So we will be able to maximize the profit um, for a better example. But realistically, we already got way too much. Let's be honest here. Troll pelt is best, especially for normals. You think about it. You get a troll pelt, boom. You're ready to want to reach my fucker. You know what I mean? <laughs> you will be able to call Hannah and tell her that you acquired 3000 gold. And now it's time for her to make a kit for you. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. No, but I legit like... um. Well, basically, yeah, I probably already felt number of times that we made the Discord trade in Discord where you will be able to get um, kids, fence your items and other stuff. So, yeah, little shout out here and we go back to the video. Well, I feel like we're kind of good. We could go north and uh, take that extract or we might as well kill these mobs. Yeah, that's fine. All right, one more hit. Goblin ear. Those go 10 gold on market, I believe. Yeah, nothing crazy. It's fine. No need to be greedy. We might as well take extract and check the profits that we've made. After this one, I'm gonna show you the second way to make gold since we already got a rapier. We have a priest. We're probably gonna be. Um, we're probably gonna have enough money to afford the stiletto without selling um, a pelt. And basically. Um, and probably a little extra gold on top, but yeah, we gotta check that out. So yeah, first and first, let's go back into the lobby. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so pretty much this is what we ended up getting. We're gonna put aside the troll pelt somewhere here, and then we're gonna start selling the cheese really quick, so we'd get to see how much we made. 221 gold so far, definitely not bad. 229. We could try and drag the... Um, gold coin back so we actually see all the profits and the goblin ears goes right there as well here we go 261 looking pretty good we have a um, survival bow which probably could be sold but um yeah these will go to vendor for additional gold all this gold goes here as well so we got 339 gold this stuff boom sold we're trying to make as much profit here so we'd get a flat number of gold for our future raids boom boom 30 gold more 371 sold 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 truth is actually okay while these are could be used for our game we already have this much gold this actually also could be used truth is very useful and this one actually could be sold on market this one will just sell as is and one strength one action is actually gonna cost a little bit of money as well let's quickly check 98 gold, that's not bad. We're gonna use it instead, we're not gonna sell it. And resolve was true, 177 gold, very nice. So we've made more than 600 gold from one game alone. And the ring of survival with armor pen and regular is could be up to 400 gold, I think, of epic quality. Yeah, there is not a lot, there is not a lot, but because mainly the ring of survival, they are aiming, you know, the re resourcefulness give you regular interaction speed, and pieces with regular interaction and the other good attributes are going to be sold for a decent chunk of money. So that's why they're not that many on market. But it's like, what, 200 gold, I guess. <laughs> um, let's check the armor. 150 gold. Yeah, 150. It's, listen, 150 is 150. Definitely not bad. We'll take it. We'll take it as a W. Hell fucking yeah. And now we have 400 gold. For 400 gold, you could go and afford a blue pickaxe. Here we go. This is going to be the part two of the video. With the blue pickaxe, you will be able to mine with 10% faster than you should. You know what I mean. Big W. And also, you might as well go buy stiletto because holy fuck, I love stiletto. Rare, um, rare with additional weapon damage should be... Uh, should be decent. Should be decent. What about epic quality without any stats? Oh, baby! This is what I'm talking about. 20, 100, only 150 gold? Bro, that's a steal right here. And now we have two beautiful pieces. Oh, by the way, I forgot to sell these. 
I'm not gonna use them anyway, so... Easiest 37 gold, and now we have bandages, we have resources, we have stiletto, we have a little chunky kit. You know what I mean? We're actually kind of popping off here, you know what I mean? 173 gold will go directly towards buying the cheese right here. And for this, basically... Oh, where's my troll pet? Guys, I think this is so... Oh, never mind. Troll pelt right here. We gotta sell this troll pelt just to see how much profit we would make off of this troll pelt. And then we will convert this troll pelt into a kit. And if you struggle um, with making a kit, well, I know one person who's gonna help you with that. That's my friend, is Hannah. Recently, we made a Discord server where you will be able to acquire kits. Basically, just hit Hannah up and um, give her your budget and she will make you a kit for that money. You know what I mean? So, yeah, 2999 we're gonna sell it, we're gonna wait for this piece to get sold, and then we will give this gold to Hannah, and she will make us a kit. You know what I mean. As for now, we're gonna go do another little run, but this time it's gonna be a little different. This time we're gonna go... Oh, by the way, we already got gold from the troll pelt. Nope, it wasn't troll pelt, but that's okay. Let's go hurry up and um, get into the part number two of the video on how to make gold. Okie dokie, we are in with the purple stiletto, we're kind of cooking here. Oh, be beautiful, the satisfaction that comes from using stiletto, mmm, fucking 10 out of 10. Alright, so this time is the process of making gold, oh, don't want to get hit by this, is actually very very simple. We will still kill the troll right after, and I'm gonna show you how to get it done with stiletto, it's actually super easy. But um, as for now, I'm gonna show you a guarantee way on how to make gold. Okay. I got hit. Oh, bro, that fucking suck. It's okay though. It's not that dead. Wait a second. Yeah, we got here. Nope, 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 nope. I would absolutely love to fight him, but um, not at the current conditions. I have enough else. <laughs> All right, let's whisk in, let's open up the door. Actually, actually, we're heading the right direction. So realistically, we're doing... Oh, shit, there is a fucking druid. I'm a fool to druids, <laughs> so you do need to be careful when you play in a row. Because the panther just, like, a good panther player will own rogues quite easily. No, I can still own the panther. They just, uh, they do possess a threat, you know what I mean. Yeah, okay, we're almost there. Might as well open up a bunch of chests, bunch of boxes. Here we go, we got the cheese brother. Definitely not gonna hurt. We're taking literally every single piece out there because we're trying to make some buck so we could afford a better quality kit at the end of the day and so that you actually see that what I do is not some, you know, some outrageous science. <laughs> By the way, we have a guy here, it looks like. Interesting. I do believe this is below 124 lobbies, so yeah, I'm not sure though, probably yeah, probably we are 124 below, I wonder what the home is doing. Oh, holy, I missed, oh sh shit brother, holy fuck. That scared the shit out of me, brother. I, bro, I would have been so dead there if you would put all the arrows into me. Yeah, no, I would not have fucking lost that. By the way, here we are actually at a place where we're supposed to be at. And now it's time to get some copper. Basically, the copper is where the gold is. You take five of those pieces, boom, that's 300 gold. Usually there is... Um, normally, I come across... 10 to 15, you can even find more, and if you go into high roller, oh boy, you could find 
20 plus per you know spot so that would pay off a lot but um yeah i wouldn't necessarily bother too much even if you wouldn't find um plenty it's okay just take whatever there is and that should be enough most of the time there's also going to be cobalt and the cobalt is going to be around 150 gold per five pieces and um once again the copper is like around 300 per five pieces so they're actually pretty good looks like we had some here oh man i'm so not interested in fighting this dude <laughs> It's okay, though. Okay, I think that the last hit was a headshot. Okay, here's the smite. We gotta be careful with it. Oh, he died. GG, yeah. Okay. We might as well just heal up. That was a self-defense, by the way. I had no intentions fighting this dude. It was the one who instigated this whole thing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Holy fuck, those are expensive. Those are like 600 gold on market, I believe. Damn, brother. The homie got blue this. Listen, we're not there yet. We're not ready. We still gotta get the copper. <laughs> I'm gonna go through the whole process of getting the copper step by step. You gotta know how I do it so that you'd get to do the exact same thing. So it's gonna be a lot easier for you. Bro, I feel like the whole lobby will know that I'm here and I'm in a big trouble. <laughs> but maybe I'm just being a little bit paranoid though. Yeah, usually if I kill someone, boom, that's it. Fucking the whole pace of the whole lobby is different. Instantly different. Either people start to camp, hide, or team up. Like, I'm not trolling. No, listen, trust me, I'm not trolling. I'm not over-exaggerating. I just... Fucking what happens? Well, anyway, in today's video, we're not farming pvp we are farming ore so i hope it's gonna be fine are we almost there by the way we got to get one more piece we're gonna be kind of full though by the way once we hit like around the seven minute minute mark we're gonna go and kill the troll and um yeah so we will get a chance to get more calls for our kit I'm kind of down for PvP if I'm gonna come across some PvP, so it's like, don't mind if I do, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm down for some PvP. By the way, here we have open chest, um, the lion chest that we can just simply open up. Usually, it doesn't require the lockpick, sometimes it does. Alright, we're kind of, kind of chased out, I'm gonna be honest. But there's still more copper to loot, and uh, I'm interested to find every single copper piece. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let's get to it. What do I want to throw? Mm. Okay. Not bad, we're kind of getting there. You know. Mm okay. I hope we'll get four more pieces and we're gonna be good to go. Alright. Damn. If we get five and five, that's gonna be like almost a thousand gold. More than a thousand gold, in fact, from one raid alone. What the fuck is going on? Was that, is that the rogue? Hmm? Is that the rogue? No, what do you mean? Have you killed anyone? No, I haven't. You demo, you son of a bitch, stop running demo. away! <laughs> you fucking demo! Oh my goodness, you can't brother. Hide from me, have demo. to be absolutely you can't fucking hide. kidding me. Fuck off, mate, I'm naked. I'm doing a guide for friendly people. Bro, the homie have demon clothes. Is he not? 
The homie is fucking absolute cheesing the living fuck out of the 124 lobbies. Oh shit, that's gonna hit. Yeah, no, that's fine. At least it wasn't a headshot. Could be a headshot, I would be dead here, by the way. It's okay, though. It's fine, I hurt him a little bit as well. Alright. We're gonna get our HP back. Shouldn't be much of an issue. Oh, he's up in the trap as well. That's good for us. Okay, let's just go right here. And by the way, speaking of, remember when I said we gotta go kill the troll? Perfect time and opportunity. <laughs> calculated, calculated, by the way. Alright, gotta get our HP back and um, get down. Alright, so... Let's quickly kind of try and explain how to kill the troll. Just walk left, triple stab, go back, hit the arm twice. One, two. Sometimes. Oh shit. Ah. So I just fucking spent five minutes doing trolls for nothing, right? Yeah, well, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. We'll do it some other time. Oh look, that's the guy. Is that, is that you? No way. That's the guy. He's trying to transform. We can allow him to transform. We gotta be on him. No way, you got me. <laughs> yeah, I got him. Well, you know what they say: fuck around and find out. Where is my cheese? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Give that. Give that bitch to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we didn't get the troll, but... We got the guy who tried to grief us. <laughs> That's even better. That's... We actually... We went for a troll, but we ended up getting the troll. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, by the way, we can actually go back and finish what we started. We could go get some copper, and we'd be good to go. We might as well actually get a little bit of cobalt. You know, definitely not gonna hurt. <laughs> Nothing happened. It's all good. Oh, that was the last piece, by the way. There's so much cobble here. Like, if we had more time, we could have loot everything. We could still go and loot, actually, a little bit. But, um... What should I throw to pick that up? I don't even know. I gotta think. Oh, shit. Um... Ah, fuck it. Let's just go. <laughs> we missed out on like three cobalt. Oh well, it is what it is. So, in this game, we got this much gold. So, let's actually do a little mess. So, we got a couple of pieces that we're gonna sell. We're gonna put them aside. I do believe they're actually gonna cost a little bit on market so that you get to custom with um, trading. And we're gonna drag a bag out so we get to see how much. Oh, oh, we're not selling this. We're gonna sell these, and we're gonna seal... Yup. We got 100 gold. Not bad. We got a little bit of cheese. <laughs> a little bit of cheese. <laughs> and let's check the price of cobalt and copper. Oh, much better. We got 600 gold from copper ore. Legit. Super easy. 299. We're gonna get this sold super fast. And there could be more than 10, you know? There could be more than 10. It's actually really good for us. Boom, here we go. And now let's sell these pieces. So I'm not exactly sure if they're going to be very expensive, but I believe we could get extra couple, couple hundred gold. Since we're trying to maximize the profit from parade, I believe this pair of pants are actually really decent. Plate pants with action. Plate pants with action and max cells. 1.6 and plus 6 cells. Yep, so that's like 500 gold right here. 250, holy cow, brother. Actually huge. Let's put it on trade. 249. So even on the second game, we made more than a thousand. Like easily, easily more than a thousand. And yeah, if you would get the troll down, you will be able to potentially get the troll pelt. The chance of a troll pelt is very huge. Usually I get it every second, every third run. Like, um, sometimes I get multiple in a row. Like, so yeah, it's um, legit 
that easy to make good gold i mean good amount of gold okay so we have acquired around four four and a half thousand gold actually we acquired slightly more than that because we also spent some gold on fees we sold literally everything all the ore has sold um and basically yeah now it's time it's time for us to actually go and uh, make ourselves a kit i'm gonna act, try to drag this out and basically i'm gonna use this row as the goal to measure how much gold we're gonna spend for a more or less of a decent kit and let's just go on the market and quickly buy so first thing first this is what you want to look when it comes to playing on a rogue i would always go for the lace turn show and uh here we go lace turn show move speed bonus yep here we go people usually don't buy like the um, move speed they aim for additional move speed and the difference between additional move speed and move speed is actually pretty huge so the cheapest additional move speed with five is going to be at um let's check 526 if you aim for the exact same move speed bonus it's going to be a lot cheaper so basically you're looking for 14 percent or maybe people caught up oh no here we go never mind never mind people haven't yet holy fuck those are so good by the way physical damage bonus magic resistance and one and a half move speed we got five move speed from one and a half bonus we got physical damage we got magical resistance that's beautiful all right so next thing let's get the uh, loose trousers yep epic quality epic quality usually going to be quite expensive you could aim for max cells it's one of the best stats on the loose trousers with physical power but if it's too expensive instead you can aim for wigger and basically just aim for two wigger two wigger is technically equivalent of six health and i mean of four health and basically the cheapest one is 555 but the cheapest one with wigger is going to be um, a lot more cheaper drastically cheaper 277 and also you get magical damage bonus if you're playing with uh, poison that definitely gonna help you out a lot um looks like no oh, well, we're just gonna buy the first one with um right here but also also you could go and check out the brave hunter pen so let's see right here and um let's try to google up wigger 440 440 decent yeah 440 definitely decent we're gonna buy them without a question the cheapest piece right here also we're kind of on budget so we're trying to save up every coin um all right so gloves it's either gonna it's just i would recommend riveted gloves with action speed rare or epic quality let's check the epic quality 290 quite expensive let's check the rare um but still like it's epic 290 for this is a fair price fair price we do, we, we're gonna pay a fair price it's okay it's so good it's worth it it's definitely worth it next piece let's go get the tater cloak with action speed epic quality 500 gold too expensive let's check rare 250 gold better this is better but um at this point you don't need oh by the way one true magical damage if you're building magical damage that's probably not gonna be bad but i would highly recommend to go for true physical damage um it's definitely gonna be much better especially in a row yep so we just but the diff the price difference is actually huge the price the price difference is actually huge but still we have three and a half thousand gold so we're pretty good um but the first piece gives one and a half action and one true magical and since we're going to be playing with the magical belt rope with the rupture this is uh what we're looking for one true magical damage is going to benefit us a little bit and one and a half action speed for the most part is going to be more or less equivalent of a one true damage this is what i've learned so i mean one damage all right so next piece we still have 3k gold let's get the um adventure mm, no i don't want to adventure i'm trying to think which one i i want to get let's get the shadow mask first shadow mask epic quality let's see what do we got here action literally the very first one comes with action what about power on the rogue you do need some power and sometimes you're going to be walling physical power over the action or physical damage bonus because you're already going to have a plenty of uh, power i mean uh, action and you need a little bit of extra damage right here for 300 gold boom sold we're going to have these that's definitely going to be good for us we still have 2700 gold we're not going to spend all of it but i'm just going to show you an example of buying a quick kit adventure tunic let's check it out adventure tunic and let's check the agility 
And um, okay, now let's check dexterity, I guess. And uh, dexterity to dexterity right here, and let's add Wigger. 500. Ideally, we get two stats. Ideally. But if not, it is what it is. I don't think we, we're gonna get that. <laughs> let's check the um, dexterity plus action. 717 to expensive dexterity plus agility. 790 overly expensive. Bro, what are these prices? Let's check Wigger. And um, action. All right, so this piece in particular right here is decent for 88 gold. We're gonna buy it. It's gonna give both three good attributes. Since we're playing with Magic Rogue, we got three attributes that are gonna benefit us. All right, um, Grim Smileys. If you're playing a Rogue, the Grim Smile is your best friend. Just buy it. It's a good thing. Additional, uh, I mean, action. Oh, here we go. The little first piece will give us four good attributes. Max health, max health, additional magical action. This is a steal. I feel like this piece right here should be a thousand gold, no less. But uh, listen, I'm not going to complain. I'm just going to buy it. All right, let's quickly check if we can look for true physical. How much is it? A thousand. Yeah, that's expensive. That's a lot. Additional physical. 410. Boom. Sold. We're going to buy it. No question asked. We're just going to simply buy it. All right, so for the necklace, there is a couple of options you get to choose from. The one that I, I absolutely love playing is going to be the... Um, um oh bear pendant yeah bear pendant let's go for the epic quality action and one true physical damage let's see what is the price 370 first the very first one is actually a very decent one yeah there is no better the legit the first one the cheapest one is the best one buff action true fizz here we go sold okay so now here we have 139 health 26 pdr high move speed uh, physical a little bit of physical damage reduction we have we're kind of healthy with this build in particular we're gonna have jokester which is gonna give uh, more attributes and now we gotta get the stiletto with additional weapon damage that one's additional weapon damage gonna pay you off a lot so you should not um save on one damage it's definitely a good thing let's see what else we have magical power additional weapon additional debuff yeah we're just gonna buy the first one i guess Yep, here we go. The first one. Oh, got sold. <laughs> Whatever, not that big deal, really. And we have 700 gold left. Here we go. We have actually more or less of a decent kit that we did in a quick zero to hero. Um, hand crossbow. Yeah, you gotta have those. The hand crossbow. And basically, we're gonna quickly buy one. Additional weapon. Doesn't really matter if it's additional or not additional. And then healing potion. Well, let's get some bandages as well. Because, you know, you gotta have those them bandages. Very quality. What are these prices, brother? Usually they're a lot more expensive, but we're just gonna buy a couple, you know. So we still have 235 gold, and we can go and buy a little bit of throwing knives. 94 gold. Oh, damn. Damn, brother, that's expensive. All right, let's buy a few. 180 gold, and we're gonna need a little bit gold left for the healing potions. And here we go. One, two, three. One, two. And here we go. We got legitimate all set right here. 139 health. We have action, additional physical. We got a lot of additional magical damage. We got more true magical damage. We just need to put on a poison weapon um, that we will use instead of stealth. And we're gonna use Rupture. Where is it? It's a little late. I'm kind of <laughs> uh, a little bit tired. You know what I mean? But here we go. A full build, a full kit for the build. Still kind of budget. We spent four and a half thousand gold to build this kit. But uh, this whole set has the right attributes. And this set pretty much can let you kill any target in the game if you play right. You know what I mean? We also have Potion of Protections. We have meds. We have bandages. We're kind of good to go. So yeah, hope I was able to help you build your first kit. It's Timo. I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out.